Hello, my friends. Let's talk about cleaning up your contacts inside of Infusionsoft and using plus this to accelerate that. Um, what I've done here is a quick search. I made my first and last name inside of the first name field, which people seem to do all the time. Uh, so I made it as a test so I could find it. So here's a couple little tips for cleaning up. Uh, first of all, when you do a search, uh, you can go in here to the edit criteria and columns. Uh, and a lot of people don't know you can edit what, what columns show and in what order uh, they show. It, so if you open that, so uh, edit criteria and columns, scroll over here to columns, And then you can simply grab from the right hand side, you can push over the fields that you want. So if I grab birthday, for instance, push it over. So it's down here now at the bottom. If you want it at the top, it's not a drag and drop, kind of a bummer. So you got to just keep pushing. You'll see it slide up and up and up and <clears throat> you can reorder them. But let me delete the birthday. I don't want that in here. Hit save. So what I recommend if uh, you're trying to clean up your contacts or review them quickly, if you do not have plus this, I recommend you get plus this. Use my link here, pretty please. Thank you very much. It'll help me feed my kids. Um, but if you don't have it, every day, every week, depending on the volume of leads that you're generating, simply do a search. Go to contacts, view all contacts, uh, and then click here on ID. And I only have one to show because I don't want to edit out all the names but <clears throat> double click on ID so you sort by most recent right by the highest number and then inside of Infusionsoft for some reason on these tables on these reports uh, only the full name is a hyperlink okay uh, so I'll do a quick search though I'll look for something that doesn't quite look right you know too many too many words like here or duplicate uh, but if it was just normal, if it was just West Test Schaefer, I wouldn't be sure if they had merged or put first and last name in the first name field. So when you have first name and last name as well, I can see here, hey, West Test Schaefer, that dude is crazy. He put both names in the first. Now here's what I do. I'm on a Mac, if you hold down the command key and then click, it'll open up another tab or you can do com control command and it'll go right to it. Uh, but now I don't have to, um, I won't lose my place in my whole list of contacts. So now I can quickly edit West Test Schaefer, come down, hit save. Okay, and I can close out that tab and come right back here and keep working. So now if I do a quick refresh, let's go find West Test. And we'll see that it's fixed, right? First name, last name. Now, here's how to do this automatically. If you have plus this, if you go over to there, you want to look up three things. One is this split name. Another is this format last name. And the other is format first name. When you open these up, it will give you uh, some simple instructions. When you, when you create it and just hit save, it's gonna give you this long URL, which is an HTTP post. For those of you that aren't technical, all it means, it's you know HTTP, so you see it up in your URL, right? Uh, it's the hyper uh, text uh, protocol, uh, drawing a blank, hyper text protocol? I don't know, who cares, right? It's a way for one computer program software application to speak to another. So inside here, I have the art of the close. So I'm working on this right now, selling this as a, I'm doing a webinar and then a program. But I simply, right after the web form, people opt in, they go right into a plus this sequence. And I just call it format name. And you simply drag over one of these HTTP posts. Okay, and I'll delete that, I don't need that. So I have three in a row. I'm gonna format their first name, I'm going to format their last name, and then I'm going to split the name. <clears throat> so now if somebody does that, right, like Joe Smith in the first name, and a lot of people do like all lowercase, right, or all caps. Ugh, makes me crazy because when, when you do a mail merge, you know, and it's all caps, dear Joe, right, it's like you're screaming at them. Or it's all lowercase, like dear Joe. 
Ugh, you got to format it. So that's what the formatting does and the splitting splits it apart. So, and all you're doing in this HTTP post is simply cutting and pasting, copying and pasting the URL from plus this first name, plus this format last name. Okay, and it even gives you the instructions. You can click it super simple. I mean, literally copy and paste. Okay, and then the final is to split. Now make sure once you do this that you go up here to the right and mark it as ready uh, and you're good to go. All right, go back into here now. I've already done this, so I don't have to publish. Oh, but I did make one. Uh, okay, I'll publish anyway. So you publish it and it's ready. So now anybody that opts in there is formatted properly. Now, the cool thing with this inside of Infusionsoft, let's say I'm working inside of this campaign and you can see I've got a big one here. So I could duplicate this if I had another web form, right? Which I do, right? Like up here and other places. So I'm going to start putting this everywhere. Uh, and then, you know, the nice thing as well with Infusionsoft is when you build even another campaign, as long as you have, so like right here, I, I click in here, actions. I can copy from a campaign. Now, I don't want to override this, but you can see how now that I have these three fields configured, it wasn't hard, it wasn't long, but it's still, go find it, copy, paste, blah, blah, blah. Now you can just clone this or import it into other campaigns and just simply publish the whole sequence and I'm rocking and rolling super fast. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. If you need more tips, more help on how to sell more faster at higher margin with less stress and more fun, please contact me. I'll be glad to get you going. Thanks for watching. Good selling.